We live in a digital age. We live in a complicated age. And we are ridiculously interconnected. And that might be good, but should this digital age afford parents the right to track their teens? Hi, I'm Chuck Gallagher. And when it comes to parenting ethics, well, I'm on your side. I have two children. And our children are growing up far too fast. We are too stressed. And no one seems to know what to do with all the rules of child rearing and parenting. Adding to, to all the madness is that close to 75% of teenagers are walking around with personal smartphones. Now, in today's digital jargon, the apps and programs that teens are using have exploded. Most parents have neither the time nor the inclination to keep up with the technology. And while the digital world can be daunting, there are many who share the opinion that it is appropriate to track your teen, not because of what they might do, but because of what others might do. Now, if you want to read the full story on the right way to track your teen, you might want to click here. So here is where the digital tires meet the digital road. The digital road is called tracking and is tracking your teen ethical. The smartphone like any other device, can be used for good or bad. Some parents, for example, want to track their kids. After all, parents reason, I want to know where you are and what you're doing. Teens react with the classic, what's the matter? Don't you trust me? So to avoid the heated and dramatic questions of trust, psychologists recommend the tracking conversation is to be put into the context of safety, and security. You see, not only is this more palatable way of looking at things, it's also more ethical. In a recent USA Today article on the installation of tracking apps, psychologists and industry experts arrive at a certain set of expectations and agreements between parents and children. Among them include to use social media, the teen must friend the parent. Secondly, all passcodes need to be shared to make certain that any apps that have been installed are acceptable. Three, at bedtime, the teen is to turn over the smartphone to the parent to enforce a non-internet period until morning. Four, tracking apps, when properly used, can add to everyone's peace of mind. So. Let me put it this way, for more information and to learn the other USA Today guidelines, visit my website. That's ChuckGallagher.com.